Hello and welcome to the transcription explanation of this design. It was done using Lauren Sherman's script, which uses a combination of dots and lines on these four different stems to make our consonants. And vowels are quite a bit trickier. They're these smaller circles, and they have different positions depending upon what vowel they are, and if they're attached on one of these four consonant stems. Um, so this is a comprehensive diagram showing all possible vowel and consonant teams. So let's go ahead and go through this O one real quick here. So uh, an O by itself, just on the line of the word circle, is towards the middle, and that's shown here with it being towards the middle, whereas A is to the outside, E's eyes, and U's the same position. Um, and then a B stem, or a deep divot, with no modifiers, with an O on it, is like a bead on a string, so this is like the consonant stem, and this is it in practice. And then a J, O, similarly, like that, T, O, so this is a T stem, and a T, H, O, because this is a T, H stem. So, yeah, um, uh, the words are read bottom counterclockwise, and if there's a consonant vowel team, you read the consonant first and then the vowel. So, let's go ahead and look at this design. It's set up left to right, so you read this one, 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 this one. And the hardest part is figuring out where the word circles actually are, and what is or is not a word circle. So, um, let's start here. Here's our first word, and it's a small word. Bottom of the word circle is here, and there's only one little circle on it. It's a little circle, so it's a vowel, and it's got a line going towards the middle, so that makes it an I, because I's have lines going towards the middle use have lines going towards the outside. So this is just the word I. Continuing, this is the next one we hit in this, so the center of this one's here, then the center of this one's here, so this is the next one we hit. Um, and this is the word circle. This thing here is not a word circle. So even though it looks like it could have like like a little I here with this line going towards the middle and some some stems and stuff here, because it's broken here, we know it's not a word circle, because a word circle would have a deep divot stem, um, and then this is the next word circle. So anyway, this is a word circle, and here's the bottom of it, and this is just the line on the M, and here's our first actual letter. It's a little circle again, so it's a vowel, and it's outside the word circle, so that's an A. So A, continuing around, here we have our next word, uh, our next letter in this word. So it's a circle inside the word circle, so a word circle, circle inside of it. And it has one, two, three lines. And these lines, they can curve, they can be straight. It doesn't matter so long as they end on the stem they're supposed to end on. So one, two, three of them makes it an M. So three lines on a circle inside the word circle is an M. So A, M. Here's our next word, because again, this isn't a word circle. It's just the lines from the M. So here's our next actual word circle, bottom of it. Here's our first stem. It's another circle inside the word circle, and one, two, three lines end on it. So notice I say end on it. Lines that pass through, like here, do not count. Only lines that end on it count. So one, two, three lines makes this another M. So this is an M, just like this is an M. Continuing around here, we have a circle on the line of the word circle. So this stem, or like here. And there is one, two dots. So two dots on it. So two dots circle into, uh, on the line of the word circle makes this a Y. One, two, Y. So M, Y is our next word, and here's our next word bottom of the word circle. Here we have a smaller circle, so it's a vowel just like these guys, and it is an O because it's inside the word circle. And then we have a shallow divot, so it's 50% or less completed. It doesn't start to curve back in on itself like these guys. Well, these guys are the same stem, same stem, but here's a deep divot, right? Here's a deep divot. So this is a shallow divot with two lines, so that's a W because one line, two lines, so W. O, w, and then here we have our next letter. It is a circle inside the word circle like this, and it has, this line passes through, so it doesn't count. Passes through, doesn't count, but this one uh, passes through, doesn't count, sorry. This one counts, because it ends on it. So only one line actually ends on it, the rest of them pass through it and don't count. So one line makes that an N. So O, W, N, own, and then we here uh, have our next word, bottom of the word circle. It's a little circle, it's a vowel. It's got a line going towards the middle. So that is an I. Continuing around here, we have a circle inside the word circle. So that is an N, because it's got one line ending on it. And all these other things pass through it. I, N, continuing around here, we have a shallow divot with one line. So that is a V with an E in it. Continuing around here, we have another N. So this N is the same as that N, and is the same as this N. 
So n, continuing right here, we have another uh, a t, a shallow divot with no lines on it, because this line passes through. So the difference between these two is this one, the line ends on that shallow divot. This one, the line ends on the dot, because this is a vowel, and it's another i, just like this i, because it's got a line going towards the middle. So t i as opposed to v e. So it's kind of tricky to see the difference there, but it's about the line ending here and not here, and the line not ending here and ending here. So this is a T, I, and then an O. It's another little circle by itself. And then that last N, done just like the other N. So I N V E N T I O N, invention. Then we have this here. So this is the line for the word circle, I mean, the sentence circle. Um, and on it is where you put punctuation, and I generally do a double sentence circle line, so here's that one sentence circle line, and here's another sentence circle line, just to keep it from being confusing, because this dot otherwise would have like four lines on it. Why am I saying dot? This is a circle. Um, but that makes it a period, because it's on the punctuation circle and it's an open. So here we have the invention period. And then we have our next little phrase here. So here's the first one, that is the leftmost. And it's another I, just like this I. So I line going towards the middle. So I, and then bottom of the word circle here, we have a circle inside the word circle. So it's this stem. And there are one, two dots next to it. So that's a K. And this word is create. And you're like, why does that start with a K? It should start with a C. But this C is only for proper nouns or like acronyms or something. So if you're spelling a word, you replace the letter C with the sound it makes. So in create, it's a K sound. It goes K, so you use a K. In like circles, you'd write it S-I-R-K-L-E-S. -E so that's that's why I, I'm called circles. So anyway, um, K, continuing around here, we have a shallow divot with one, two, three dots. So that's another R. Three dots makes that an R. E on the line of the word circle. A outside the word circle. Then another shallow divot with no modifiers, because all these dots are all further from this stem and closer to these guys. So these three dots go here, these two dots go here, and this has nothing on it, so that's just a T. And then we have the E, so create. And then our last word here is a doozy. Bottom of the word circle, here's our first letter, and there's a lot of stuff happening here. Let's just count carefully. One line ends on it, another line ends on it, passes through, passes through, a third line ends on it. So one, two, three, only these thick ones end on it. So that's another M, just like this M and this M. M, continuing around, circle on the line of the word circle, one, two dots. So that's a Y, just like this Y, one, two dots on that Y. And then we have another shallow divot, just like all these other shallow divots. And it has, this one passes through, so it doesn't count. But this little guy ends on it. It's important that this little guy ends here. And then this thick one ends here, and then this one ends here. So one, two, three lines. So that's an S, then an E. And the difference between E's and A's is kind of hard to tell on these stems, but an A would be outside the word circle, and an E would be on the line of the word circle in, or inside. And this one most definitely is within the word circle line. And then we have an L, three dots on a circle inside the word circle. Um, do we have any other else? We have a K, that's like an L, but one less dot. We <laughs> L, and then we have an F, one, two, three lines on a deep divot. One, two, three lines. So yeah, and then we have that period at the end of the sentence here. So that period is done just like this one. We've got our double sentence circle line and then a period on it. So yeah, that is this design. I think it looks really awesome. Blue. Bye.